All right. All right, it's not gonna be long. What? What the? What? What is going on here, guys? Oh yeah, finally putting these bad boys on. Bit of good rich train cam twos with a method MV wheels, 17 by nines. Looking good. Let's go check out the truck. Let's get it ready. All right, guys. As you can see, I have my JBA control, upper control arms, my lift kit on, toy tech, OBS, Bill Stein 5100s. Actually, it gives me more, much more flexibility now because uh, my jack doesn't even jack it up all the way now. So that means they need a bigger, taller jack. We've got to put an extension on. But let's go see if I can put a. Uh, this jack stand underneath. All right. All right, it's looking a bit low. What? This was not here before. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh. Oh my god, guys. This is so disheartening to see. I just put my lift kit on. As you can see, I got new lower control arms, new axles, the Bilstein 5100s with the Toy Tech springs, upper control arm, GBAs, new sway bar links, and I was getting ready to throw my 285s on for fitment, make sure that there's no rubbing in anywhere, and I was getting ready to go put the jack stand down, and Man, look at this. This is horrible. That's rusted through underneath here too. Holy cow, guys. What am I going to do now? This was my baby. This is my truck. Man, oh man. here wow guys what is going on here this is so disheartening to see Look at that, guys. That thing is just like loose in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at all the rust just coming out, guys. Oh my god. Is this even savable anymore? Oh my god. It's the hanger mount for the exhaust. This is the cross member. Oh jeez. Looks like it's cracking through the body mount here too. Oh man. It's the worst thing that anybody wants to see. Oh 
Oh, shucks. My heart just dropped when I saw the hole. When I saw this hole right here. Oh my god, I'm just like, what the F? Oh man. Let's get all this done to find this. Man, this is so disheartening. What do you guys think? What do you guys think, guys? Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a few days now of uh, soaking it in. And uh, well, I've got an update. Um, I called Toyota, two dealerships. They checked my VIN number and said it wasn't qualified for any kind of recalls on the frame. I think it's because I did do a recall back in 2016 where they did something to the frame and they, they sprayed that crap on. And I, I remember it was thinking like crap. So, but anyways, yeah, that's that. Um, I haven't tried calling Toyota headquarters yet. This is actually my daily driver. So I do need this truck pretty much every day so but yeah I'm taking it down to Rug Toy Industries and uh, I'm going to take a look at my frame see if it's fixable and we'll go from there but another update I did end up putting the 285 70, 17 wheels on and it actually fits pretty good very little minimal rubbing on the driver's side so I'm very happy with that but but yeah guys, I'm still bummed about it, but what can you do, right? It is what it is. Shouldn't have to deal with anything like this, but hey, motor still runs great, body's still great, everything's still great except for the frame, so hopefully uh, the, the frame is fixable, and we'll go from there, get this adventure rig back on the road. Um, Minnesota and Wisconsin deer opener is uh, coming soon so I gotta get it done and get out there and do some deer hunting so gotta do what we gotta do right and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and follow the updates on my adventure rig and see what happens on the next video catch you guys later